Hi, uh, today it's Sunday, it's 2.28 p.m. and, and it's uh, October 21st. Uh, I'm 94 years old, I just had a birthday in August, but I've been diagnosed with terminal cancer and uh, I'm feeling, I've taken a positive attitude where I feel very good about things and I'm just letting things happen as they go. I feel happy, I've had the most wonderful time, people are all coming out to see me. I didn't realize that as many people uh, liked my show as they did and I, if, if you're one of them, keep liking it and keep looking at it because this is the one thing that, uh, uh, that's me. I'm also having a, an awful lot of people that were relatives and friends that I didn't realize how close, you know, I realized that they were close to me but I didn't realize how close I was to them and I'm finding that out and, and that's a real joy. It, it's been a good life and I hope it'll continue to be a good life. I'm continuing with my exercises. I feel my physical health is good. I'm, I feel I'm strong. Since I learned that I'm cancer and terminal, the one thing that I'm trying not to do is feel bad. They told me that if I take the right attitude and stuff that I can get by this without feeling nauseous and without feeling all the horrible effects that you're supposed to feel with cancer. So I'm taking a very positive attitude and, and I, I, I'm doing what what I think makes me happy. And, and it's, uh, it's fun. I'm just going to go as long as I can and when my time comes, like I say, I hope at my funeral it's a, it's a good funny one I, 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 and not a sad one. I, 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 I'm, I, I'm a happy person right now. I'm happy with everything I've got. I, I feel I'm leaving, I'll, I'll be leaving this world with a lot of people who have good feelings about me, who will remember those good feelings. I like humor. I want it to be a funny affair. I, if people are going to tell any stories about me, you know, if they start taking out with, with, with all the religious stuff, you just tell them to Knock it off, that just isn't me. Uh, let's put it this way, I was raised in a very uh, strong Jewish Orthodox home by parents who were, by today's standards, fanatics. Uh, I, I could never, it never made sense to me. I always seemed to reason things out. The things that they would say with the religion just didn't make sense to me. I considered myself an atheist. And then I said, well, I'm a Jewish atheist. You know, let's not forget that I'm still Jewish. I, I always felt that when you die, your body dies and you die and that's the end of it. There's no more world. It's like a leaf. When, once it falls off the tree and crumples off, it's gone. But I, I'm not quite sure I think that completely. Now, it seems like you call it a soul and I start thinking more in terms of, you know, like when I watch these programs, they, they show scenes of how people, when they die, it's like time is constantly moving. And, and even though you're in space and, and you're, you're going, like the ancient aliens, we don't know if they come from another planet or if they were people that were here billions of years ago. I hope that if I do have what we can refer to as a soul, that it ends up in the right place and at the right time. Well, people, I don't know whether maybe by the next time you're watching this thing, I'll be I'll be gone down to where I'm supposed to ever be going when you die. And in the meantime, I've enjoyed life. I've enjoyed uh, having this little program of mine. I've enjoyed the fact that people seem to like it, and mainly I like them, and I hope they like me.